What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how you can track Facebook ads using Click Magic. Now, if you are using different posts every time, it's really easy. All you do is on every different post, you would put a different tracking link. So as, as you saw in our video on sub IDs, what we can do is for every different ad, we can just add a little sub ID <clears throat> and say something maybe like add one. <clears throat> And then on the other one, on another ad, we can say add two, add three, add four, and we can see which one performs better under which interest group, and we can have up to five sub IDs total, okay? So the process is very straightforward, very simple. If you are using a different create ad for every different um, ad. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated than that if we're using existing post. And the reason for that is there is no website URL slot if you're using existing post. So over here, for example, I'm using existing post, remember, as you saw in the previous video, so we can uh, get that social proof added up. Over here, there is no spot for, a, for another URL. So I can't input another URL and add some sub IDs. I need to put in these URL parameters. And that's what I want to show you how to do. So first thing we'll need to do is let's go into our main kind of landing page or whatever offer it is you're promoting. And we need to write at the bottom. So your URL may have been like this or may have had a slash. After the slash, we need to say, we need to add these additional query strings. And we're going to say S1 dash S2. And you can add as many as you want, up to five of them. Uh, I'm going to stick with two because I think two is really all we need. And uh, when you're looking at these click magic uh, sub IDs, when you're looking at where the source came from, you can only see two at a time. If you want to see more than two, you will need to export it as a separate Excel file. So I'm just going to make it really simple. I'll put two in there. So after I put this S1, S2, because I'm doing two, I'll click on save changes and then make sure you put your tracking link on the initial page. So here was my initial post which I copied to everywhere else, as you saw in the previous video. And over here, we need to make sure we have our tracking link, okay? So now what we have to do is for every single different existing post, we can go down here at the bottom, and the only things we're going to change is this. We're going to say FB tag one equals, and this is basically our first sub ID. So we can say, you know, Facebook, and we can say, and FB tag two equals, you know, add one or interest group one or age group one or whatever it is you want to check. Let me see what, uh, I'm just too small, okay. So that's basically what you would do. And now maybe you can copy that and put it onto a different ad. Maybe let's do this one. And let's put that here and let's say maybe add two, right? And that's basically it. Why does it keep, keep giving me that, uh, that message? Okay. Anyway, so that's it. So now let me show you how it should show up on your ClickMagic account. It would be exactly the same as you would see with sub IDs. The only difference is we had to use these query strings now. So let's open any one of them up. And let's see. So I'm going to open it in Newsfeed. And here's my post. So I'm going to copy the link address. Let me put it there. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just separated by an and, and then it has all that Facebook tag there, okay? So I'm gonna put that in here, and now it says page hash equals Facebook ad. That's what you want to see, that's right, okay? That's good. So when I go back to my click magic, and I refresh, I should see a one one. And now here's the thing, we can actually see the source and we can see where exactly this came from. So I'm gonna click there and there. It says Facebook ad two. And this is extremely useful, right? Because now you can see, you can split as different ads, you can split as different interests and you can see which one works best. So that's pretty much it. It would work exactly the same for any other ad that you input. It would just show you different values. It would show, you know, ad three or ad four, whatever it is you input right after you said FB tag. So I hope that was beneficial for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.